We have learned that materials are everything around us that have a place and take up space. We also know that objects are made of different materials such as wood, plastic, glass, fabric, metal, and paper. In this lesson, we will learn about some of the properties of materials that distinguish them from others and make them ideal for making certain things and not ideal for making others. Look at these materials. What is each material made of and why? The window is made of glass. Glass is clear and we can see through it. However, it doesn't allow certain things to pass through, such as water and air. It is ideal for protecting us from the rain and cold winds, but it does allow light to pass through, such as sunlight. Glass is a fragile material, which is why it is not used to make school supplies, as that would be dangerous. Paper napkins are made of paper, and paper is a flexible material and it is light and soaks up water. That is why it is not used to make umbrellas, as it allows water to pass through. And here we have keys made of metal. Metal is a strong material and it's very hard. That is why it's difficult to break or bend it. That is why metal would not be used to make pillows, because it is hard and not comfortable for sleep. This water bottle is made of plastic. Plastic is a waterproof material that is easily moldable. That is why it is used to make toys. However, it would not be used to make towels because it cannot soak up water. The hat and socks are made of wool. Wool is a soft material and it's thick, so it can protect our body from the cold. Wool would not be ideal for making books because you cannot write on it. This pencil is made of wood. Wood is a solid and strong material. This is what helps us write with pencils. Wood would not be ideal for making clothing because it cannot be easily molded and is not suitable for humans. Faddis spilled water on the table. What can he do to dry the water? Should he use the paper napkins or the plastic bag? Excellent! Faddis will use the paper napkins because they can soak up the water. Some materials soak up water easily. These materials are known as water absorbent materials. Examples include sponges and paper napkins. Faddis needs to go to school on a rainy day. What can he use to protect him from the rain? An umbrella or the hat? Excellent! He will use the umbrella. It is made of plastic and plastic does not allow water to pass through. Some materials do not allow water to pass through. They are known as waterproof materials. Examples include plastic and glass. We use materials based on their properties. Their properties help us to know what things they can be made into. Waterproof materials and water absorbent materials, soft materials and rough materials, hard materials and flexible materials, thick materials and thin materials, heavy materials and light materials. In conclusion, today we learned that every material has properties that distinguish it from others and that the properties determine the different use for each material.